Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. Today we're going to spend some time up here at the sign bed, the entrance bed to the nursery and our home. It is the middle of October and so we are going to pull out all of the remaining summer annuals, get rid of them, say goodbye. We're probably going to have our first freeze here in a couple of weeks. So I am here in this space. I am ready to clean it up. So we're going to pull out the summer annuals and we're going to go ahead and decorate a little bit for fall using some beautiful mums that are in full color and they are massive and they are stunning and they're going to make a huge impact here at the entrance to the nursery. We've been in this space many, many times. Just want to give you a little update on how things are looking. Some of the annuals are still holding their own pretty well, like these sun patients. Um, actually, these are not sun patients, these are infinities. So they're more shade tolerant um, and patients are doing well. The Color Blaze Chocolate Drop Coleus that I used as a ground cover is still looking quite nice in here. You can see though the lemon blush caladiums. Yeah, they're done. They're like, okay, we had a great summer. It was really fun. We appreciate it. We are out of here. Um, even the dark purple impatience, y'all, I'm telling you, absolutely love impatience, whether it is for sun or for shade. I just adore them. Um, coming on down as far, I don't have a ton of annuals in here. I do have the Pegasus begonia um, looking rough. And then this one back here behind the impatience and the summon substance hosta right here in the middle was absolutely stunning this summer, but everybody is looking ragged. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those as well. Um, and then down here further, we have some more caladians and some more coleus. So yes, we are going to go ahead and pull all of the annuals out because I am here at this time um, excuse me, I'm just going to interrupt for a moment. I got distracted. Um, do you see what rotten here just got? I thought, I don't have a white ball. Miss Brenna, Cece is going to be upset with you. Do you know why? Because Cece put those decorations up here and you just went and got that pumpkin. Oh my goodness, y'all. She is a little spicy today, so we'll see how long she lasts with me. She is sporting her... Um, her cute little bandana. It says Boo on it, and that's one of her little nicknames. We call her Boo, uh, Brenna Boo. And uh, yep, okay, so that pumpkin is officially gone as long as it keeps her entertained. <laughs> it is worth the sacrifice. All right, okay. We uh, pardon that slight interruption now back to the plants. I'm sure y'all will be watching her in the background hopefully like i said she doesn't stay too spicy and she can stay with us today during filming not only we're going to go ahead and pull out all the annuals we're going to go ahead and trim back clean up some of the perennials the main thing that i am looking at are my hostas um some of these some substances especially like well that's not even a substance substance this is elegans I always get it backwards um, i'm pretty sure this is elegans it's looking rough so i'm probably just going to go ahead and cut it all the way back down to the ground and just clean it up we do have some amazing shrubs in here that are doing quite nicely um, a wygilla that's new this year a cute little um, macrophylla hydrangea that's in here that is new um, of course obviously we're going to leave all of those perfectly alone but back here we have um, the laura petalums we have the everilla grasses nice nice stuff so when we can get rid of the annuals and put in some really pretty fall color this bed is going to look completely different revamp it just needs a fall refresh and it's going to look super super nice now the mums that we have took them from the nursery because they are in full bloom and they are stunning and they are gorgeous. Cece was kind enough to bring them up here for me. Um, and so basically I wanted to stick with three different colors. The red is just magnificent right now. And I know that sometimes red in a darker area doesn't show as well. So we're going to make sure that we play on our colors with those red mums. Oh, she just lost her pumpkin. Um, then of course the white mums will really stand out and pop quite nicely and then yellow those kind of they're kind of a goldy orange um, and so those all will stand out quite nicely against each other so 
I'm sorry, I got a little distracted by the dog stealing the pumpkin and having fun with the pumpkin. Um, what I'm going to do, and it is not going to be rocket science, y'all. This, if you, you know you've gardened for any length of time, it is so much easier to clean up um, a bed maybe than plant it because you don't have to be careful. Like you can just go in there if it's an annual, I'm just going to pull it out. So I'm going to pull out all of these annuals everything even the impatience that are blooming we're going to pull them out because i'm here one time get it all cleaned up and we're going to just going to call it a day throw them in the back of johnny so we'll get them all loaded up in the back of johnny take it off to our natural kind of area where we just let things decompose and just return to the earth so that's what we do with our green um, debris we only i only throw green debris away in a trash can if it has a disease and none of this is diseased so i can just pull and trim to my heart's little content and not worry about it so i'm just going to set the camera up and i'm going to get rid of all the annuals we'll do all the annuals and then i'll meet you back here in just a second All right, my friends. So I've got all of the annuals out. Sweet thing came up here. He's gonna help me fin finish filming this video. So let us look at the cleaned out bed. It is most definitely uh, looking a little barren, but it is also looking uh, neat and tidy. I did go grab the blower and kind of cleaned up my debris, especially here along on the wood. Um, road line there but yeah i mean the coleus man that chocolate drop if you're looking for a good seasonal ground cover do those trailing coleus from proven winners there's now next year there's going to be four different colors but very very easy um you may have noticed that when i was pulling it up in this whole area the limbs that had laid down on the ground had rooted and so that helps in as far as being nice and drought tolerant because you've got more of a water source instead of just that one main clump of roots it was not hard to pull out it was it came out really easily and remember everything that i pulled out here are annuals annuals last for one season they will not overwinter meaning that when a freeze comes, they're all dead. So the coleus, the impatience, the um, begonias, the 
um, Pegasus begonias. Now, the one thing that you do not have to do, and this was totally on my choice on doing this as far as a look preference, was to go ahead and trim back my hostas. I don't know that I've ever trimmed back hostas this early in the season, but when I have all of these gorgeous mums back there that are nice and big, um, and the hostas were already starting to look really kind of rough and ratty, so I'm just going to fill in this whole area, not whole area, but you know, put some mums back there to fill in that space and make that area really pop. You absolutely could wait until a freeze comes and melts all that foliage and then just go in there and clean it up. Not a problem. Am I hurting the plant by cutting it down this far? Absolutely not. Is it necessary for you to do it? Absolutely not. It is totally a preference. Again, this was an aesthetic that I wanted to have happen that way I can still see exactly where my hostas are so I'm not going to put a mum right there on top of it but when I can plant the mums in here it will hide it and then it just cleans up the bed the everilla grass dear heavens y'all I am in love with this we're currently sold out at the nursery I need to find more I need more and get it in here because I want to add more to my garden and I know that you want to add it to your garden the one thing that I think I might go ahead and do before I pop the mums in is I'm going to come over here and just kind of clean up this euonymus a little bit um, and just <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of shrubs you don't prune in the fall um, and the only reason I want to clean this up is I just want to take the length off of it so some of these rogue limbs that have gotten tall I'm just going to kind of bring them back just a little bit again it's about tidying up the plant and I know that I can easily do that on this plant because it doesn't flower. It's only an evergreen foliage plant, so it is not gonna hurt it just to give it a very gentle trim on it. What I do not want to prune right now are my Wygella. So I have got the Vino Verde right here. They have already started to lose some of their leaves. Wygella bloom on old growth. So if you go in here and whack back your Wygella, you're cutting back next year's flowers. So do not prune those right now, just leave them alone. So what we're gonna do is, is, since Jerry is here to help me film, we are going to, I'm gonna trim up this um, euonymus, get that cleaned up just a little tea tiny bit, place the mums, and then I have my handy dandy power planter auger. Uh, we have the three gallon uh, auger on it because what I wanna do is, we've talked about this before, um, these mums are all in 10 inch terracotta pots, um, some deco pots, and these are Belgian mums. If you want them to be perennials, you need to get them in the ground ASAP so that way their roots get established before the cold hits. I, however, am simply treating them as annuals. I do not want these to be perennials. I am simply using them to dress up the entrance to the nursery so that it looks very fallish and festive and fun and fills in some of these blank spots. Therefore, I am not using biotone, I'm not using fertilizer, I'm not using anything. I'm gonna use my auger, drill a hole, pull it out of the pot, plop it in, put some soil back and call it a day. Very, very easy. Um, if you want this to be a perennial, then you're gonna want to use your biotone because that encourages root growth, right? And we want those to have really strong, healthy roots before the cold of the winter hits. So I'm treating these as annuals, no biotone, no fertilizer, no compost. There's tons of compost in here. Once these are done, like, you know, in several weeks time and they're just like yucky looking, if we have other mums that I wanna plop in place, I can do that or I can just call it a day and pull them out and be ready for winter, either way. So we're gonna place these. I have some ideas on how I want to arrange them, but nothing solid yet. So <laughs> stay tuned, it's gonna be a surprise for both of us.
today's project is complete and I tell you, I love it. I told Jerry, I said, I'm about ready to go rip out some annuals down there by the creek and just fill it full of mums because this is just making me happy. The mums are looking great. I love them. They look fantastic in here. Such a nice pop of color. And I think I did pretty good as far as choosing the colors and how I place them. Now, I know that they are pretty linear, which is normally not what I go with when I'm planting, but these mums are so massive and they are so big and so bright. Um, I wanted the yellows on the front, obviously nice and bright. The whites really, really stand out. Um, it, I guess it helps that the sun is also shining on them right now. And then I wanted the reds to be next to the whites but also next to that chartreuse of the everillo grass back there in the back and it just fills in like i said i know it is a little bit linear but i don't care <laughs> in this case i think it works really really well and looks nice um, so when you see this bed coming in um, and back up a little bit and you will be able to see all three of those right so you see the yellows the whites and the reds in there together fills it in. I did go ahead and clean up that euonymus and so just you know just made it tidy. I took off those little scraggly stems makes it like look nice and neat and I will not trim any other shrubs in here um, until next year. If I need to trim up some of the wygilla I will do that after it blooms. I will not do that anytime soon. Um, all of the hydrangeas in here are macrophyllas, meaning that they're going to bloom on old growth. I did have a puffer fish. I did go ahead and trim her back. She hit the struggle bus there for a little bit. Um, and then the Annabelles. Sorry. So Annabelles are smooth. They will get cleaned up and they bloom on new growth. So I have puffer fish is a panicle. Annabelles are smooth. Those bloom on new growth. They can get trimmed. The Macs do not get trimmed, but look nice and bright and cheery. Makes me very happy. There is no doubt that now when you come to Creekside Nursery, when you approach it, that it is fall and we have got some gorgeous mums for you. We still have plenty of mums. So if you're, if you're in the market, we have got mums galore. We have got them in full bloom and we have got them in buds and cracking color. So we have them in all stages. So if you're gonna come see us in the next um, a week or two just come on by we've got gorgeous mums don't forget this saturday october 21st the power planner workshop and bolton's curbside cookery so you can come free workshop learn everything you've ever wanted to know about the power planner augers you can put your hands on them you can pick them up you can drill a hole you can do all of those fun things um, and then stay around for a delicious burger and onion rings from bolton so that is this saturday october 21st we would love to see you those power planter augers make all the difference in the world, y'all. I'm telling you, got these, there was 21. 21 mums in here in less than 20 minutes. So there you go. All right, hope y'all are having a fantastic fall. I hope you have had time to get outside and enjoy the weather. Hopefully it has turned a little bit cooler where you are. The leaves are starting to change. Um, it, it feels great. I have not dropped one little ounce of sweat today. Love, love, love this weather. All right, my friends, thanks for guarding with Creekside. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.